Hi guys. So for today's video, I'm doing another hair review. I will post the, um, I will link the first review down below. Now this particular wig is in a, uh, the brand Model Model or Model Model, whichever way you say it. And it's an invisible part wig, which is very, very new to me. And the name is Johanna. The color that I got it in was OM701. And as you can see, that the OM stands for ombre because it has lighter hair at the bottom and it gets darker as it goes up. Now, a couple things about this wig. First of all, it's a little bit light for my hair. I have 1B hair, so it's looked a little bit darker online and it kind of looks a little bit darker in the pictures here. But I kind of made it work for this review type thing. Another thing is that it is a U part. It is an invisible part. So I am not used to that. And that's why I have it parted to the side right here because the actual invisible part is right here. And I know that you probably want to see that, but it's so messy and I'm not used to doing this yet. I got to kind of get it down before I can actually wear it the way it's meant to be worn. But I really like the way it looks just like this. And basically I have like a hairpin or two just kind of holding it right here. But like I said, it's a little bit light for my hair, but it is such a beautiful color. I love this color. And also I love the curl pattern on it. Now, obviously with every wig, especially if they're synthetic, they will fall. So the curls will fall eventually. But I'm gonna show you the tag. That is Johanna. And they're just telling you, showing you the visible part and the color that the model's wearing is OM701. And did I say, I got it in OM203, so if I said OM701, I made a mistake. That's actually the color that the model's wearing in this picture, but my color is OM203. So it says it's safe up to 400 degrees Fahrenheit for a curling iron and it shows a flat iron so obviously flat iron if, you, if that was your desire but with some synthetic wigs I rarely change the texture of the wig be, just because um, I bought it that texture for a reason. And basically it says um, it comes attached in the front so I cut it um, where the part is and I'll show you the picture, little diagram thing. And this is a tag it came with and so far I am loving this wig the color is amazing and I think that's like my favorite part is the color and the curl pattern I really really like as well that's going to change but this uh, I have experienced shedding but it's very minimal so I wouldn't worry about it and to be honest the price of this wig was $13.99 when I purchased it and it still is because I checked yesterday and so if you want to pick it up I would suggest doing that very very soon. So I would show you the back and all that but since I have a whole mess like going on on the top I'm not going to do that. I have all the hair to the front so it's not a very thick wig and it's not as long as the one that I had on before obviously but that one was extremely long and this one is more average long. So this is pretty much, that's pretty much it. Uh, like I said, it's a little bit light because it is a two on top and I am a 1B, but sometimes twos can tend to be darker than usual and that's not the case for this. This is actually a true two on top and especially since I have it kind of parted to the side, it's kind of more lighter than it should be on top, but it's a very beautiful color. So I highly recommend it if your hair is a two or you can always, do something to make it appear darker if you are one be like me but I can't stop playing with it. I keep looking in the mirror I'm sorry about that but I just really really like the way this looks I like the curl pattern I like the color the texture is nice it's not too thick like the other wig was so so thick and this one is a lot thinner but it's not like unwearable like wiggy thin it's very very natural appearing 
and I forgot to mention it does have two combs in the front two clips in the front where the U part is or the invisible part and then it has it does have a drawstring which is awesome because I don't know how many visible part wigs have drawstrings but I thought that was pretty neat and it does have a comb in the back so that's pretty much the specs of it the cap is a pretty average sized cap and also you can always tighten it with the drawstring which is nice because then you can customize it to your liking so overall i am very pleased with this wig and i do like it love the color love the curl pattern and i am going to try to make the visible part work if not i'll figure something out i know uh girl online says she sewed um the part so it just became a regular wig but i'm going to experiment with it and i always am up for the challenge of learning new things especially when it comes to hair or makeup so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let me know if you have any more questions um, if I didn't answer anything down below and follow my social media accounts and until next time thank you guys for watching bye